Hey YouTube, it's Jeff at Dark Moon Metals. Welcome back to the shop. Today, I had a neat little project come through the door. This is a mower deck for a wheel horse mower. And uh, as you can see, it has a couple of issues. Uh, originally, brought it over thinking that we could just kind of weld all this back together. But the material that is under here is so brittle and so thin, I really don't have a halfway decent welding surface. So what I'm going to have to do is cut the whole nose off this mower deck and refabricate it from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is come in and make a couple of reference lines. That'll help me line things up later on. I laid out my line using some blue painter's tape so it's easier for me to see with all the sparks flying. It's time to grab the angle grinder and we're going to cut off all of the thin material so we have something fresh to weld to. I still need to come in here with some air tools and clean this up, but let me show you what the underside of this looked like. This is what we just cut off, and as you can see, this thing had some serious problems. It's cracked all along this side, the metal's extremely thin, there was just a whole lot of pitting in here. So rather than trying to weld this, of course we're going to fabricate something from scratch. Alright guys, so here I am. I've got a bunch of relief cuts in here because I'm going to heat this up and I'm going to bend everything in to try to form this curve. Um, I don't have the proper tools to make a radius like that, so I'm going to improvise. Uh, I'm also going to cut a piece. I'm going to measure this. I'm going to weld a plate in here. I'm going to do the same thing with all the reliefs. and I'm going to hammer them until they meet. And then I'm going to go in and do penetration welds using TIG all the way around this. It's going to take forever but it should look pretty good. Alright guys, uh, I'm about two hours, maybe two hours and 20 minutes into this. Um, really happy the way it came out so far. Uh, there are going to be visible repair lines of course, I'm not going to go crazy with the grinding plus the original metal uh, isn't that thick anyway and if I grind too far up onto the parent material I'm going to just cause more flat areas. Uh, this mower is not a showpiece even though it is uh, a wheel horse and I know they take them to competitions out in farm country. but. Uh, we're up here in Connecticut, and uh, we, we don't have that kind of a following. Uh, if this were a showpiece, I'd go in there and do like all auto body work Bondo type stuff to it and clean it up and make it look pretty. All right, YouTube. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut along this line right here just to get rid of that dead section of metal. I'm going to line it up with the two lines that are on the frame, and I want to see the contour of the nose that I created versus what was there because I need to make sure that the brackets line up um, and get the correct position on the nose again. If those don't line up, this whole thing is basically just an exercise in futility because it's never going to mount to the machine again. So that's my next step. Alright, that actually looks pretty good. So the next step, I have to turn my attention to the brackets and free them from this section of mower deck. 
Both of them are going to need to be cleaned up. Luckily, this looks like full eighth inch thick steel and it's still solid as a rock. So once I clean this up, I'll grind off all the old wells and we'll be able to reuse these pieces, no problem. Okay, I'm in the process of removing the material, and there is a trick that you can use where if you can't see the line from the material you're trying to separate from the good piece, uh, you can use navel jelly or anything else that will etch, and you'll start to see a crack form where the two pieces are welded together. Fortunately, if I spin this around, you can see that there is a pretty defined line that I can follow already. That is my original curve, so all this material in here, from here to that crack, still needs to come out. Alright YouTube, I went off camera and reinforced all these welds from the back and uh, did a little bit of grinding on them, cleaned those welds up. Now I've got the uh, arm that holds the front wheel tacked into place, and I'm just double checking some measurements. And if everything looks good, I am going to go ahead and weld it into place and it looks pretty parallel Alright guys, other than a little bit of assembly after the paint dries, this is ready to go back on the tractor. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Jeff at Darkman Metals. I will see you again soon.